I tried to execute order, but that did not work, so <laughs> Chris, Chris um, In thinking about that question, I reflect on some research that Emily's List in the US did many years ago, and I'm not sure sort of if there's been a change, but at the time they found that on average um, it takes asking a woman about seven times in, uh, to run for office before she will say yes. And I think that's compounded for women of colour who for, um, for you know, our entire existence really have never really seen people that look like us, people that you know, subscribe to the same cultural values or you know, traditions or eat the same food or whatever it might be reflected in the decision making structures in our media and in many other aspects of our society. And so the, the whole sort of um, the result that we saw on um, in a, I feel like there was a, a real energy and, a, and um, there was a lead up to that and it was a culmination of a lot of people finally kind of um, going, it's, it's time almost, um, that we see difference, that we see our diversity reflected in, in, our, in our politics. And I love the fact that there's this group of amazing, talented, really qualified, um, articulate women who are almost sort of our version of the squad mm, yeah. that got elected um, in the US in 2018. But I think that's the first step. That's kind of very superficial reading of it. The hard work begins now. So I, I am so blown away and so so pleased to hear Fatima talking about you know the work that that um, goes into supporting other young women to think of politics as a potential pathway um, because that's what really needs to happen. We need to turn what you know what was the culmination of a real desire for change into actual change. So. No, it's great that you 